Michael DeQuarrie, Susan here, Susan and Amanda. Y'all really did a great job today, and you should be very proud of that facility. Well done. I thought the children singing the uh, national anthem and take me out to the ball game was quite a nice touch. Mm -hmm. I want to sing uh, for the home team, for the Cubs. <laughs> for the Cubs. <laughs> for the Cubs, yeah. But you know, the Cubs started the uh, season without any restrooms in their stadium because the uh, rehabilitation or the stadium rehab hasn't been finished yet. <laughs> Over that I wonder if they stop beer so. I was going to say that, but I put a hamper on sales. <laughs> Hopefully. Did you know he, the Oaks Pro was out most of the game? <laughs> he didn't play most of the game. Foul trouble early. Yeah. yeah. He had the shot. It had fallen. And he came through in your last couple of minutes. Yeah, there's a couple of matches. Yeah, there you go. Call the special workshop meeting of Jacksonville City Council to order, and uh, you have before you a copy of the proposed agenda for the workshop. We get a motion to adopt. Move for adoption of the agenda. Second. Discussion. Very not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. All right, we have three items here tonight. Uh, we'll start with the commercial garbage fees and rate chart uh, change and. Richard, I'll turn it over to you. Mayor, members of council, thank you very much for joining us at 4.30 today at Jack M. Yet for the dedication of that new facility. Altogether, the mayor and council have invested nearly a million and a half dollars in the rehabilitation of that facility over the last five years. You're to be commended. That is one of the shining examples of what you and your staff are committed to doing for quality sports and for quality opportunities throughout the city. Tonight in the workshop, we're going to ask you to uh, give us any final comments or questions that you have relative to commercial garbage rates. Wally's going to make a very brief presentation, give you an opportunity to ask any additional questions, and then on your formal agenda at 7 o'clock, you'll be asked to adopt a new rate structure. Secondly, Reggie and his department have been working relative to issues to bring you up to date on the New River Shopping Center and the New River Housing Area. We would like to give you a very detailed presentation about some of our thoughts about where that should go. And then we're going to be getting into the budget discussion. A little unusual in that we're convening uh, today to begin the budget, but we're going to ask you, if you don't mind, to break your workshop into two components. There'll be the component before the regular 7 o'clock meeting, and I believe that the time between now and then will primarily be taken up with items 1 and 2. After the regular meeting is over, we're asking if council would stay for roughly one additional hour to begin to work on the budget. But obviously, we work for you. That's our request, and you can determine as the evening goes on. At this time, I'd like to ask Wally to walk you through the latest information regarding rates. Please. Good evening, Mayor, Council. At your March 17th workshop, we discussed moving forward with fee adjustments necessary to cover expenditures for the commercial dumpster collection. Um, staff has look at, looked at expenditures based on the last eight months of, for fiscal year 15, um, and we've developed a full year estimate using the last eight months as our information. And then we've developed a project, projected budget for FY16, and this shows the major line items in both of those uh, projections. And as you can see, we've gone up a little bit in salaries and benefits, largely from our FY15 full year estimate to our projected budget for covering things like um, we hired a driver at a little bit higher than what we had estimated originally, and for overtime <coughs> expenditures, which you know we did not have in our original FY15 budget. 
In addition, we have looked at our fleet charges and projected out um, where we are. We think that although it's not major, we think that our fleet charges will be slightly better next year than they were this year, just because we spent a, quite a bit of money at the beginning of the year um, getting those used vehicles that we purchased um, up to a better condition. So we didn't want to take much off of that, but we did, as you can see, we shaved just a hair off of that. Um, fuel expenditures, we actually increased, and we did that based using that, the number of hours the trucks had run and um, the, the fuel, the, what we've used to purchase fuel. Um, and then our insurance deductible, you can see that our full year estimate is based on what our actual expenditures have been and we did increase that slightly because we don't know what we'll need for an insurance deductible. And then our debt service has gone up and that's probably the most significant item. Um, the reason for that is the new truck that we purchased uh, was more expensive than the used truck that we replaced. And I'm sorry, they were both used vehicles, but the, the newer vehicle that we purchased um, was more expensive than the first vehicle we purchased. So debt service went up along with that. So those are our anticipated expenditures. So what you'll have on your regular meeting is proposed fee amendments. Um, the first is the collection fee itself. Um, we're currently the fee is six dollars, which is up from the original five dollars and sixty-three cent that we had at the beginning of this fiscal year. And it's we're proposing to take that up to seven dollars and seventy cent. At your last workshop, the number that we provided you was $7.60. And the primary difference between those changes is when we look, went back and looked at the debt service, the debt service for the new truck, the, the difference in debt service really hadn't been included. Um, that does mean a slight increase to the um, rate payers for the month and for their monthly expense <coughs> and basically that rate is it means 83 cent a month for two pickups but there is admittedly it is uh, a slight increase however we were not comfortable um, <coughs> decreasing or, or going with the seven dollar and sixty cent rate based on our projected budget for fy16 um, and additionally as we're making the modifications one of the things that we talked about as a staff is making uh, Saturday service more eligible uh, or eligible for more people. Currently on our fee schedule we say that you have to have a minimum of 16 cubic yard pickup per week to qualify for Saturday service. But based on our fee schedule and um, the people that currently use that, we think that we could open that up but not significantly increase um, our expenses. Um, so it, it, we did look at improving eligibility. And in addition, for every one that we pick up, the expense covers those pickups based on an overtime rate. Um, we also looked at, based on comments that or feedback we heard from the commercial user group, that our dumpster rental fees were too high. So we did look at those and we actually reduced those. We cut those in half, which makes our payoff 24 months on a dumpster. Um, we looked at cutting those lower, but from the, the feedback that I got in other places that I found rentals for, um, our cutting our fees in half is below what the information that I have that's comparable market. So um, it looks like cutting our fees, our our rates in half, which gives us a 24 month payback, makes us much more comparable to the external market. Um, so this, from going from $6 to the $7.60 fee, what that means to our customers for twice a week pickup is that their fee would, their current fee at the $6 rate would go from $79 for two cubic yard to $93.73. And just as a comparison, at the $7.60 rate, rate that we gave you at the last meeting, their monthly fee would have been $92.87. As you can see, it's just less than a dollar a month. Um, but we wanted to. A dollar a month? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, a dollar a month, just less than a dollar a month. And, um, but we wanted, it. admittedly, it's an increase, so we wanted you to be aware of that, that 10 cent, because it does make a difference. Um, but you can see that this is essentially 70%, give or take, of our customer base, and you can see what their increase would go to on a monthly, um, for, for the, based on the um, $7.70 that we're proposing for tonight. And with that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Mr. Ward. Question about the uh, insurance deductible. What, explain that a little bit for me, if you don't mind. I might have to ask for help on that one. <laughs> Gail Maids, please come forward. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You didn't put me a chair up here. <laughs> That's for a call. Thank you. Too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the insurance deductible um, covers a worker's comp claim. We have a $25,000 insurance deductible. And um, for example, we had the wrecked vehicle this year. And there's a, and I can't remember what the deductible is per incident on the vehicle. So that's what that covers. <clears throat> We've also been using that to cover um, the way tickets, the fees for being overweight. Yes, as you are probably aware, uh, the city has been issued a series of tickets from the uh, Department of uh, Traffic Enforcement, not the city but the state, due to overweight vehicles. We've worked with Senator Brown to see if we could get some amendments to the law because, as you can appreciate, while we're not overweight on the gross weight of the vehicle when loaded, we do occasionally, especially after rains, have single axle weights that exceed the individual axle. Because of the way that a commercial garbage truck packs, it's not possible to spread the load. You know, you pack from the cab all the way to the back where the rear axles are. And even though we have three axles under these trucks, we still have had some violations. So that's also in that category. Are we still getting the citations? They are knock on wood. Today we did not get any citations. <laughs> <laughs> What's the expense of a citation? Gary? Uh, it depends on how, how much of the weight they are. To date, we've been cited for about $20,000. And an individual citation is what, about $1,200? No, sir. It, it's less than that. Again, it depends upon the, the weight of the individual actual. But we're we look at anywhere from five hundred to we had a, we had a ticket of three hundred and ninety dollars to a ticket of seventeen hundred and eight dollars. So it just depends on how it's weighed. And and also Dr. Wood mentioned about the the wet garbage sometimes that, that has a